A prolific burglar living rough on the outskirts of Christchurch continues to frustrate police by disappearing into the countryside. William Stewart's been evading police dragnets for months, and although his pursuers have got tantalisingly close to him, he still manages to slip away. Laura Bootham has more. For the fourth time in four months, the armed offender squad closes in on the elusive William Alexander Stewart. Police believe the 47-year-old, who now sports a number two haircut, is unlikely to endanger members of the public, but he won't be cornered by the police. Well, we believe that he's got the firearms so that he can um, assist his escape, and from what our inquiries have revealed, he's prepared to use it against police. The South Canterbury man's been on a burglary spree since December, most recently ram raiding a pharmacy in Christchurch before fleeing to Governor's Bay last night. There he stole property and a motorbike around 10pm. Police intercepted him, but he still managed to get away. He came across a police cordon, he um, dumped the bike and, and did a runner and ended up in the scrub in the Port Hills. And Stewart could stay there for a long time. Police say he's a resourceful itinerant who probably hasn't showered for a month and is used to roughing it. If he gets enough food from burglaries and people leaving cars open, leaving stuff in it, he can go for quite a while. Armed police searched cars in Governor's Bay last night and again this morning. Some parents kept their children home from school. Some indications he might be on pee, so he could be very unpredictable. Police pursued Stewart in December after a burglary, but he gave them the slip. Then in February, he again eluded an AOS dragnet in the Rangitata riverbed. Police say Stewart doesn't pose a major threat to the public. However, they're advising people to keep property securely locked and shouldn't approach him. Laura Bootham, 3 News.